For those who haven't visited Woodruff in several years are in for a surprise. A number of big changes have been taking place on Main Street as well as the surrounding community. Ben Harrison owns not one, but nine buildings in town. Hey, Miss Holland, how y'all doing? He just opened Tap 3 this summer. It's just kind of a hot spot now for small town vibes, you know, small town feel. That's all of a sudden a trend again, so we're on the upswing of that. Upswing is an understatement. Brand new businesses include locally owned shops and restaurants, as well as national franchises like Tractor Supply Company and Bojangles. Two subdivisions went up and are filling in half the time projected, while two more are in development. Crews are also preparing to break ground on Woodruff's first apartment complex in 25 years. Brown. Very proud. Hometown boy turned city manager Lee Bailey says the building boom is exceeding original plans. One of our thoughts is if you're not growing, you're dying. And you have to keep up with times and change. But at the end of the day, we strive really hard to provide great service. Uh, for our people and then also offer something so they don't have to drive out of town. He credits low taxes, little traffic and affordable homes as draws, as well as the bedroom community's proximity to Spartanburg and Greenville. Yana Allen's beer garden just celebrated one year in business. What's exciting about that is I am bringing people from Five Forks, Fountain Inn, Simpsonville, Greenville to discover Woodruff. Every business owner we spoke with said they want to continue to balance growth with the small town friendliness that has made Woodruff what it is. That's sure to become more complex as the city's population is expected to double in the coming years. In Woodruff, Stephanie Trotter, WYFF News 4.